Hello everyone, I'm Arzna97, and welcome to my first playthrough of Victoria 3. Well, not really first playthrough, but YouTube playthrough, but you know what I mean. But anyways, so, Victoria 3, it is a game that's basically about guiding a nation through the, as the name implies, through the Victoria era of the world. Which is better off if I kind of just start a new game and show off here. Let's let this load for a minute. This way it looks to load. Ugh. Come on, you. With your balloons in the middle of the Arctic. And also now there's Admiral Perry busting the front doors of Japan. Let this load. Let this load. Ah, there we are. But... Anyways, as you can see here, well, I mean, basically what you do is you kind of just guide a country through, well, the Victorian era of, well, the world. You can play as, like, France, Spain, uh, anywhere, the still burgeoning United States and try to, you know, manifest destiny over here, or play as Mexico trying to fight off the United States and try to keep all the land that Mexico lost from the U.S. or, uh... From the U.S. in the Mexican-American War, you could play as Texas and decide not to join the Union and just be an independent Texas. Canada and do some stuff up there. China. Pretty much any of these countries you can click on, you can play as. And I think for me, as is kind of tradition for my first, all my first playthroughs where actually I did have a test game running. For my first game, I am going to play as none other than... So, did he get Piedmont and attempt to basically form uh, Italy as through this time period? There's a lot of changes and shifts going on throughout Europe, you know, the rise of, you know, Germany and Italy being two of the biggest ones, of them having reformed their nations, which are historically a lot of smaller, minor nations in a general area, for them actually unifying into one specific country. So, without further ado, let's click on Old Sardinia Piedmont, which is currently an absolute monarchy, with 40 regiments and 5 flotillas or fleets, with a rather rough standard compared to, compare to say, like the French, who are a lot more, uh, or God forbid the English, who are a lot more beefy than us. But let's see what we can do and hold our own. So, uh, let's get her started. As Old Sardinia Piedmont. And here's our level empire here. We have the Isle of Sardinia, obviously. As well as we have Savoy from France, as well as this little chunk of Piedmont down here. Is this Piedmont or a little bit of Provence? And now here is well Piedmont itself with Turin, which we have some bad tax issues. So yes, yeah, so we kind of seem to get this whole thing back up and running. See, paper is currently expensive. As we see, this is our Income, convoy for trading, diplomatic influence for use for doing diplomatic actions, authority for doing actions in our country, and bureaucracy basically making everything run right, essentially. Uh, let's see here. So for our first tech, I definitely think we should probably just go for Central Archives to get our tax capacity up as much as I would love to be industrializing things, but that's be a long time coming. As well as we hit these different interfaces, let us lets us build different buildings, resources such as you know different farms, mines, lumber mills, fishing docks, then steel mills, uh, shipyards, glassworks, furniture factories, arms industries. It's pretty in depth over here. In a more of our political lens, you can make you know additional build sectors, government administrations, universities. It's, this game is. It's kind of hard for me to explain it, and there's a lot better people on YouTube that could explain it better better than I, which I highly encourage you to go look look out for them if you want more of an in-depth explanation, but I'm kind of trying to do the best I can right now. And then obviously there's also, you know, diplomatic actions we can take for, you know, clear interest in a certain part of the world. If you have access to colonizing areas, you can, you can colonize parts of Africa, or, well now, parts of South America that are still open. The American West, if you're over there. Some of the Pacific Islands. It's just, it's, this game is definitely, it's a lot. It is definitely a lot. But for me right now, I think my diplomatic actors will definitely declare an interest over 
Let's go ostrich already there. Maybe up here because a lot of, as you can see, Italian territory is currently held by Austria. So maybe I should wait a minute and see who Austria does not like. They obviously currently don't like the Germans. So maybe it could be in my interest to become buddy buddy with the Prussians up here, or which will one day soon become Germany. So this is I'll probably just declare an interest. Let's say in like. Let's see, uh, maybe the Rhine, maybe I can also get access to talking to Belgium, the Netherlands, and also Prussia themselves. So yeah, let's go put an interest up here, you know, diplomatically speaking, let's start talking to make friends with people, well, let's go with these little Italian states down here, they could be my buddies, and uh, what else can I start talking to, try to make friends with, Sicily's Tuscany. Uh, let's see. Can we talk Tuscany? Could we try to make that front or just maybe... Maybe ally one of these guys just invade them. We can see what happens there. Uh, let's make buddies with... Well, anybody who basically does not like the Austrians. So maybe the French can be my friend. Yeah, I'll talk to the French for a little bit. But the interest goes in handy. And a rival. Could rival Tuscany. So I have extra Spain I could rival. Uh, maybe I need more diplomatic power could rival something, but for now I don't even need it. That's good in that regard. Uh, let's see what else here I can do. That's all fine data there, I think. Uh, ah, my, my decree, so I can get issue various... There they are. Basically buffs for my country, but one thing I know from my little kind of test playing around game is that when I'm going around building buildings down here in Savoy, or Sardinia Pima, I should say, which Savoy's right there, um, if I go to my journal here, there's different decisions and events or whatever, one of my things is the Treaty of Turin, which basically means that once I research a certain tech, I can basically sell off this and this to the French for basically sort of an IOU. So for me, there's no point in building anything here or here, even though in the game there's two build queues. There's a build queue that of stuff you assign, and then there's a second queue which basically individual private owners assign a build themselves. So they can build it, that's fine, because that doesn't bother me at all, because I'm not putting my own income and effort toward it. But if, you know... Like, the game does it, that's fine. I'll also take advantage of it while I still can. I have to just co-op when, you know, it's all done. But for now, let's just see. I'll probably have to do some greener grass for more people moving in, which is always nice. You never have too many people. As well as, or maybe for, for construction efficiency. And I'll have, let's have, I recall, that's good for mining, and this is good for building. That's all good. And this will have some more left I guess I can really do what I want. National values, assimilation, culture conversion. Uh, list mint. Nah, it's all fine, I think. And then let's just start getting some industry rolling here. Let's go for... Yeah, let's go for... I'll be cheeking it. Two construction sectors, and that's gonna... So if I go to... Do, 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 where my construction sectors queue at? Uh, that'd probably be my building tab. Building tab over to here. Yeah, so probably we can make the price of fabric and wood because in this game, like I said, a lot of people better to explain them, but basically, they're basically trying not to break the economy, so because I'm having more construction materials that are causing wooden fabric to be used, this price is going to jump, making the economy, well, as you can see right here, nosedive. So you basically have to compensate for that by either finding somebody else to buy some more stuff from, was well, that the bad route, so I'm going to get rid of that, or building it yourself to compensate. So... Yeah, do those two construction zones, and then let's do some more logging camps to, well, you know, balance that out. And let's get a good throughput. Sardinia. Which I see, there's not many people. It's just, yeah. But also where my iron is, I believe, in there, too. But. Jump the key. So let's just put it in Sardinia. Let's get two more of those in Sardinia. And then after that, anything our. our general pops are hurting for by their standing of living, which, let's see here. Da, 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 da. People are hurting for f well, it's wood fabric currently. Paper's expensive, too. I'm going to make a paper mill. 
especially if we're going to be improving the that whole thing. Let's get, yeah, let's get a paper mill lined up, and then as I'm going to want to start to use iron tools, or switch into iron construction. Let's get some iron going here, too, which all my iron is in Sardinia, so Sardinia is what can start having this as well. And one more thing I want to do is mess with the economy to help us with this building. So let's get that. Knock those both down. Those other things. And see. Put a syntax on some stuff. Uh, let's see. I mean, yeah, might as well put syntax on services. Lovely. And I think that's enough for now. Let's get the clock ticking. Let's see how things develop along here. Is as I was saying, as, even though we're building this, the oh, what's my guy? Scrap the two, but so two Sicilies, so two Sicilies wants to be friends. That's nice. Lots of texts are spreading to us, including the atmospheric engine, which is very nice. Uh, let's see here. Like I mentioned, so yeah, we're getting livestock ranches for free. What I wanted to see is what can we do politically speaking with the government, with law changes and everything. So we're an absolute monarchy. We got church support and landowner support currently with. Pretty good legitimacy. What can we pass? We can get schools, charity hospitals. Nothing that really seems too eye-catching. Maybe just the schools. Because this is going to have some kind of an education system, I mean. I mean, like, all the laws and stuff you can fiddle with this. It's, uh, it's kind of crazy. So, yeah, just get this for now. Which is good to have. Unless, we've got any agitators I can get in here. Presidential or public. Well, that's just be Mazzani. Of the intelligentsia. Nice. Let's keep this ticking along now. Yeah, let's speed five. And go fast and just see how the rest of the world develops as let's see. France and Spain are rivaled. I learned in Spain like each other. Yeah, my interest in the Rhine is someone's dominating. It is the Austrians, they're dominating toward me. Yeah, Austria does not like me. Did you guys join up with Austria at all? Because my test game, they kind of went Austria, and that made me very sad. Like, are they still on their own? In a customs union. Let me look at the market map mode. Let's see. Tuscany stood independent, it looks like. While these two went with Austria. Which kind of sucks. See, Austria currently, they don't like the Germans. And they're improving. They're making kind of with the Turks and them. Okay. Good to know. And Germany wants... Subjugation? No, Germany. I want to be your friend. As a matter of fact, yeah. Stop with the French and start... Where is... My... Start making friends with the Germans. Like, I don't want you to... I just want to be buddies. I don't want you to eat me. Where is Prussia? Yeah, you're neutral. We can be cordial. You win. There's an event for Discord of rural folks I can get. Let's see. Uh, more enactment chance for more Catholic. Uh, let's go for 10% of the 15. Let's go with the 15. That might... Are the rural folks chill or are they kind of ticked off? They're pretty chill. The church... So we'll take off the church. Let's just take off the church, though. See, that'll tick them off and make the church more powerful. Yeah, I can just miff them a little bit. That's fine. In the U.S. is like me too. Thank, thanks, America. Britain's messing with China as they usually do. There's a little state out there in Russia that is like Chechnya or something. Caucasus. Yeah, that's like. Proto Chechnya, it looks like. We're still making a bank right now. Cool. Let's see here. Let's put that build. That's the second one, right? Yeah, that's the second construction sector. If I can afford a third, I'll, I'll sneak that in. If I can afford it. We'll see. Can we afford that? So we can actually afford a third construction sector. So I'm going to actually do that. I'll be really cheeky about this. Because even if you don't go... If you go into debt, like if I can go here, this gold bar is basically your nation's gold reserve, and then you also have credit. Because this basically works, you know, how well a modern economy works. So I can do a little a little bit of deficit spending right now. Because the faster it gets stuff built, the better. So let's just put this up. 
I'll probably start going into debt once this finishes, but it's worth it. Which reminds me, how is our buildings being managed? Let's see. Let's go for tools. Go for less money. Vineyards is fine. Now there's a deficit on sugar. Boo. Pick and shovels are fine. Make some hardwood. And that's all good for now, which reminds me, if we have shortages of certain items, that could encourage me to build military. Let's head into my market and look around here. So, staple goods. Let's see by market price. Well, groceries are extremely expensive around here. Yikes. Uh, wood is expensive, but that was to be expected. Uh, cloth is expensive. Paper is expensive, but we're kind of working on those. Everything else is pretty cheap. Iron's expensive. Tools are expensive. We're working on that as well. Matter of fact, probably another tool shed queued up as well. Let's see where it is. Workshop. Let's get a tool shed. Working. Uh, let's see here. Luxury goods don't really matter to me too much. See, a little bit of sugar. Someone's demanding it. It's pop. So our food industry is using sugar. I could probably fix that. Let's see. Luxury clothes and furniture. Military goods. We could definitely afford more army. Or navy, at least, because, yeah, our, our military goods are pretty cheap. We don't need too much. Or we definitely for more navy. I may do extra setup, too, after this. Get a couple boats queued up. Let's see, where it is military, navy, admiral. I have an admiral on the Let's just go over here, military. Where is my building and naval yards at? Navy, building. Oh, there they are. Let's get a couple of naval bases. I'll build a couple in Sardinia. Let's get, like, five more boats down there. Because we get. Because. Like I said, I can afford it, and actually having that be productive also adds to the economy. So it's kind of, it's a circle. What's it nice? In opposition at the forefront, I can either piss off the church for more, or make them happier. Which, eh, the chills, church is pretty chilled out, but that'll be fine. Setbacks for this. Telehensia, or punished. Nah, I'll definitely them be, which reminds me, I want to see in my journal here. What else can I do here? Or corn laws. Hmm. Let's make an engine. Let's see here. Nothing really I can do. Let's just have... Well, I don't want to get the urbanization done. And Patriots Romanticism. I can get an event triggered if I do that. If I got an art school, I'll do it. That's fine. I'll keep an eye out for that. If I get a art school built, do we even have one currently sitting around here? I don't, but I can fix this now because we have sweeteners. I think that's yeah. Grocery production instead. Well, we need the sugar for ah. That's for the for the booze. That's fine. Let's go with that instead. I guess import booze. Besides, we have a syntax on that. People shouldn't be drinking. That's bad for you. See, that is probably... Ooh, religious schools. Lovely. That was an easy way to pass. And is there any other government shenanigans I want to get done? Uh, charity hospitals for some kind of medical system. Peasant ladies agrarianism. See, this lets me subsidize other things, but no, I do want capitalists around. Uh, maybe just public health so I can have some kind of health care system. I mean... Yeah, it's going to make the church more powerful, but... Okay, not, oh, I need pharmaceuticals for that, but no. Yeah, I mean, this will make the church more powerful, but it will also at least give us somewhat of a healthcare system. So, yeah, let's go for that next two. Plus, having the church kind of like me also gives me currently... Because having different political groups like you also adds to different traits they'll give you. So, you have, like, the church like me now is making me more authority, as well as increasing the birth rate in the country, which, you know... More bodies to work in my factories or farms or whatever. So that's always a nice thing to have. Well, I should be cheeky. Oh, I'm going to be cheeky, actually, because I so my gold reserve's pretty happy right now. I'm actually going to squeak out another construction sector, I think, just so I can build, just get my economy going as fast as I possibly can. I could be a little greedy right now, but... Sometimes greed is good. 
though also making doing this also make the price of wood more expensive, which is kind of hurting the standard of living in the country. As you can see, wood is currently 30% higher than average, considering the rest of the market. So, uh, yeah. Oops, something in the economy. Well, there's me doing that. So, yeah, so now we're losing, we're hemorrhaging money. But that's because, well, if you can see here, if you go into the market, I'm going to guess because because wood is like, yeah, wood is super expensive. That That, that is why that is. As well as because this is getting bigger. What well, great asset there, but we're also, we're also missing a lot of taxes from here, too. We're missing 10% of the taxes from here because our tax capacity is too high because this place is very well developed. Which is why, yeah, for my first tech, I decided to go for Central Archives to kind of adjust that a bit. But we shall see here. But I think once I get the wood going here, I have any islands or some stuff here as well. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, the economy just freaking died. Uh, let's see here. Urban and rural. What can I try and fix here? I can do some importing. I do have convoys available. I'll try to ease prices a bit. Tools are high. Iron is high. Let's see. Clippers are also high. Two more ships. I guess, well, the hardwood I'm going mean, to need when I have my, my navy getting built. I will need that. I could, I guess... Let's see. Porcelain. Nah, no, that's what I don't really need. I could probably import some wood just to ease the price a bit while I'm building. Because it would be a while for get this stuff done. Yeah, let's just get yeah, another lumber mill queued up. Yeah, right there in Sardinia. And help ease prices to go to the market. Import. Let's see if we get a nice fat stack of wood. One thing I've noticed here is wood. When trading, don't go for the price. Go for the amount. So, like, because... If people succeed, they're all tempted. This will help them mostly. Let's go trade with the Germans for some wood. There can be 10 extra wood. It's going to help the price go down a little bit. But not too much. I, personally, I'd like a lot more. Maybe get some iron that helps. can help, too. Not all iron I can get. Anything that has a lot of anything, which is probably not because the game just started. But we'll see here. See, that's taking a slow time. It's probably due to... It has the Alps modifiers. Piedmont has, yeah, Piedmont has that slow build infrastructure. So I'd like probably... Uh, eventually, I want to build somewhere with a higher, easier build place. Like, you know, down maybe in Tuscany or Rome. And I can move down there in time. Ooh, health taxes. See, you could do that from tax income... Uh, let's see here. So where should the government pay for the health insurance? So you can hurt that. It hurts the industrials. So I kind of want to get them on my good side because they're going to help me industrialize the nation. Being the economy, but make huge strides to get this done quicker. Or just, hey, we'll, we'll figure it out, which I think, because there's really not much government I want to get done. So, yeah, we'll figure it out. As the economy's already kind of recovered, probably because I helped the price of wood a little bit, which that's actually not a good route. Well, something kind of fixed itself, at least. Again, this game, sometimes you, you press a button, you break everything, then you press a different button to fix itself. It's nice. But we will probably need more... I should be okay. Once I get that law passed. Because we might go negative in our... institutions here. Which is not fun. Let's see here. Well, I would like to reconquer Milano at some point. Or at least... Rather briefly, that is hemorrhaging money, though. That's way over tax capacity. Poor Austria. Do you have a lot of build sectors down? He has two over there. Let's see. Defensive pack with Parma. Sure, Parma. Just in case Austria gets idea. It'd be nice for us to stick together, plus to make him like me more, because I would like to eventually get these other Italian miners to either A, join my customs union... Or B, form an alliance, which this is, seems more likely. But one thing I could do, actually, try to get them to get an, an obligation. So I can bankroll. Let's see. Nobody wants me to bankroll. Not just yet. Let's see here. As this all builds up and around. See, are all your construction sectors in one place? I think you have two of those. You can industrialize faster than you. Now there's one down there. Which is kind of silly, I think. 
He has two more over there. So he has a lot more than me. But because Miter's in one place, there's a lot more... You get th the throughput, which basically, yeah. Them being stacked, it helps them go faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Kind of like, for a good example... Ooh, popular play rate. Uh, let's see here. Popular play rate is advocating this with the church, so I can get more net message chance. That actually fell down a bit, only 14%. Let's see. Help the church or give myself some prestige, which that's actually very nice, because I need the prestige to become a major power, which I get a lot more bonuses for that. So yeah, let's do that. You that prestige. That's, that's permanent. And just like that, that bonk us up a couple ranks now. So now we are currently 19 in the world, which if we go into our ledger here, we can see all the countries and how they're all placed in the world. So we can see right now, if I hit this, this is the great powers of the planet. I kind of just basically leapfrogged Portugal and Bavaria, so now I'm 19. Which, you know, you can see all of the various GDPs and how monstrous some countries are, like, China's is huge, but the British is, the French. They have a giant compared to my paltry little 3 million, and they're like 30 million. It's crazy. Because we're making money, and the market is kind of stabilizing a little bit better. See if we get our paper factory too to hopefully kind of drive down administrative costs. Do want to get this urbanization done though? We can see that up here. So yeah, that's already at the five I need for that one. I'm not too concerned about again up here because they're gonna go. So I'm more to, more concerned about Sardinia, which is only at a one. So honestly, building a bit in Sardinia is not the, is not the worst idea in the world. This building buildings again improves urbanization, which apparently yeah, there's a private. The owned tool shop going up, which is very nice. Lovely, lovely. I forget where to see what's added in the urbanization. I get which will come. I shall submit to come up faster. Well, that went down only four percent. Yeah, so twenty from mines, locking camps, fishing buildings. Obviously, urban buildings add more. Military buildings do as well, and we're making more money again. Which this kind of. I could just raise these wages, I mean, or at least the government ones. That helps, yeah, that's more prestige. Now we're 17. Multi wages I could put down unless I need the army to go do something for me. That's fine. Plus, my army's not that big to begin with. Oh, they're building an art, art academy. That's nice. Does anything else come up? Not really. Cuba, Cuba likes me, apparently. Thank you, Cuba. Let's see, that's passing nicely. Or 15. Oh boy, oh boy. Wood is still super expensive. Yeah, we gotta get more log camps. We'll do that after we get the navy built. Or the naval improvements. The army. Yeah, the army is fine, I think, right? Only more military factory if I want more military. Let's begin importing weapons. Which, yeah, I could probably get away with that, to be honest. If I want more military, I'll just have to build a munitions plant and then, or arms, or upgrade an arms industry to have. Which you will need a military if I want to take take on the uh, the Austrians. Which I think that's probably not a terrible idea. Maybe after once I feel like I'm comfortable enough with moving over to iron, that's bottoming up and down. We have some people trying to push forward cultural exclusion with their agitators, which. That's a nice little system because you can kind of like do laws you usually can't do. So I get someone here who's. Let's see, are you, you can't have you because you're discriminated. Yeah, probably not because we have state religion. Let's see, this does. What does this even do for me? It makes the church more powerful and kind of hurts a lot of people, to be honest. Might eventually have to go for more of a freedom of conscience or separation of church, church and state. Kind of thing, but yeah, it's probably not going to happen for a while. National militia, boo. Still making money though. That'll probably go down though. Let's well, see, how's the market sitting? It's actually. Let's well, see, those are expensive, expensive, expensive. Tools are still expensive. Wood expensive. Groceries are down, which is nice. Fish is cheap too. It makes your fish more expensive though, eventually, which would be very helpful. Uh, let's see here. 
I'm resisting the urge to be incredibly cheeky and make another construction sector. I'm resisting it so badly. Uh, let's see here. So, someone's talking, church hospitals. Fuck the church so I can either help the church get a little bit of thing. Money to help the church even more, or say no, but get more authority, which I kind of like that because that seems permanent. These are temporary. Permanent bonuses are always good, so yep. Just a permanent buff of extra authority, which is nice. Let's see, so that extra, ooh, extra neck potential is good too. Let's see here. Keep building away, people. If I were to, if I want, switch over to iron buildings, yeah, that would, like, nuke the economy. Which we do not want to nuke the economy yet. Or at least get the iron industry prepared before we nuke the economy. I think we're already, we're already doing metal tools. Yeah, we already do metal tools. The third opinion. Uh, money for more success chance or piss off the church a little bit. More success chance. The church is already pretty powerful as it is, so yeah, we can just kick them off a little bit. That's fine. So we're now still making money. Let's just get more iron mines. I want to have, like, central archives. It's even more money now. We're sitting pretty right now. Uh, let's see. Let's get... Well, that one's about to finish in Sardinia. Then we're going to get an extra tooling shed. Let's get, like, two more iron mines. And I'll eventually we need coal. Let's get a coal mine going, too, down here. And once that stuff's going... Once we get that iron built, I'll switch over to iron manufacturing. So we'll have the iron there. Or the infrastructure in place. I could go for nationalism, so I can begin doing my... Resormento. Which I'm actually... How far am I to getting... I'm actually almost every power stats, which is kind of hilarious. Or I could go for uh, industrial tech to help... Um, where's my tech? I'm stupid. There we are. Um, industrial the nation faster, which, which we think... Instead of doing a... I should have actually probably built some more... Sciencey things to get more tech quicker. Let's go for probably that's because they're doing that stuff. That'd be fine. And actually, yeah, queue up in there as well before we go crazy. Uh, university. So I have, I have extra paper too. That's probably fine. Let's get extra university in Piedmont. Why not? So that builds up. Wood is still expensive. We're working on it. Or, oh, dive down at least. Could also use my money to get bankrolling some of these guys. Let's see here. Can I bankroll? I can't bankroll yet. Do I have, maybe I don't have the tech for bankrolling. Charity hospital is fast. Maybe you need. Ah, you need central banking for bankrolling. Might want that next, actually, then. You yeah, put that next. Go for nationalism to bankroll. Let's show you the efficient application. That'll get for free. And then I start. I want some of this. I want that. Because Mechanized Tools is good. And then I want... Mechanization. Because that's also very good. I want that. And then maybe I'll start doing some military stuff. Though I'm going to get extra naval power. Power the purse. That's a stuff too. Okay. So we got the build queue. Or the research queue. All nice and handled as well. Which is lovely. I don't have to worry about atmospheric engine because, well, you know, I'm kind of getting get, get, get it for free. Because sometimes through tech spread, it goes through your literacy, which we now we're down. You get more spread, I think, is how it works. Like I said, I'm still new at this, so if you're an experienced player watching me play this, correct me if I'm wrong, like, at all. Because any criticism is good criticism. You were saying, man, you're being so dumb. Like, just tell me if I'm doing something wrong so I can learn in the future. Because I remember my first game when I played, that this ticks along. I actually played down in Argentina, because I kind of wanted to try and, you know, become a South American soup power. And you don't know how many times I had to save scum to try to save the economy after accidentally nuking it. So, uh, yeah, these things tend to happen. This just hangs along here. It's been already been four years. So things are going here, and after we build this next little tool shop, which are our tools doing, are they cheap? It's kind of pricey. Let's see if there's anything. Check my highlights. I could sell some wine and hardwood. The hardwood I don't want to be able to sell some wine, so I want some wine. That's fine. The game is suggesting. And I could import alcohol. I want to help standard of living with people. It's kind of expensive, but that's kind of up to my own devices. Uh, let's see here. Export. Wine. 
Sell some wine to the Americans. Sure, have some wine. If I recall, can I, can't I like goods? Where is my trade? I like... Can I text menu? No. Market priority. I know there's a way I can add like a market priority here. Hang on. Uh, is it if I go to... Do, 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 do. I'm the Russian market. Duh. Silly me. Well, man, importing two from the Russians. I'm selling two as the Russians. That's fine. Importing, importing, importing. I'm importing. Am I importing? I'm gonna import those. Boom. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see. I know there's a way I can actually like influence this to like, hey. There it is. Okay. So right click, I can either apply to. Let's see. Increase it and then this is to reduce my import cost. That's so actually for wine. Yeah. Have that going. I know there's a way I can actually see here. By goods. Here it is. Okay, cool. That's if we're... Doing, those are cheap, actually. Yeah, so yeah. Here they're cheap, yeah. Then these I can actually go for export, export. Wood is being imported, actually. I can build the balance for now, actually. Balance that out and liquor. I mean, importing liquor? I am importing it. Yeah. Go for importing the liquor. And these were importing, so import, import. Cool. See what that does. That actually fixed a lot of prices, actually. Oh, those those actually kind of spiked a bit. These are fine, though. Is this just pressing a button to see what happens? You see, that goes up if I do that, but if I do that, it goes down a bit. Okay, or if you keep it in the middle, is it okay? It's, it's, it looks fine. I'm exporting the Russians, so yeah, let's do that. Oh, I thought I thought it was. Yeah, I'm selling tools with the Russians. Well, that's fine. We have a nice little happy economy. Which is nice. So do I have a... I could actually, because the paper mills are hurting. I need more paper. Let's go for standardized filing system. This is going to make a negative, but once the paper mills wake up, so we take the hit. But now, because the paper mills are working, people are working jobs, on income is happening. It's like, it's a pretty in-depth, you know, uh, economic simulator. And now power of the purse, which means more naval bases, which power of the purse does more training. is better navy. I want to do that instead, actually. Cool. We're also getting general staff for free now, so let's, I think that's the army upgrade, which is nice. And we have Defensive Pact with Modena and Two Sicilies. So accept that. And Two Sicilies. Sure, we could, we could be bros. Matter of fact. So remember the last game, my test game, they were kind of aggressive toward me. But if they want to, be, if they want to play ball, hey. I will not stop them. I have an obligation to resolve it. Who owes me an obligation? Modena owes me an obligation. That's actually very handy to do. Do you owe me an ob obligation, Modena? They do owe me an obligation until... For 10 years, they owe me an obligation for something. Not even bankrolling them or anything. They just kind of owe me one. I don't know where it came from, but I'm not going to argue with it. Let's see, where's two Sicilies? So I don't have an interest in them. The Germans like me, so I can move that interest, actually, I think. Let's go... Well, I should be able to talk to them, unless they already like me, I think. Do you already like me? Uh, let's see here. Da -da 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 -da. Ooh, Modena has actually come to my customs union, which I want that to happen, so yes. Modena, an obligation. Please use it, and welcome to my customs union. Hooray! That helps my economy, because basically now they're working off of me, which is lovely. Basically, it's one step closer to integrating them into my country, which is nice. Protectorates can do, lol. Yeah, you probably because, yeah, because we're already chummy. Which is lovely. It's so not there in the club, so welcome aboard. I mean, at some point, if does Tuscany. Tuscany might need to go fight. Because that actually might rival them. Who do you like, Tuscany? They are. You have a trigger with them. They don't like the Pope. And this is with Morocco and the Spanish are liking them. Well, seems like they don't want to play ball. 
So let's just make them a rival. I'm gonna have to go fight them at some point. Uh, let's see here. Where is da, 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 rivalry? 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 Tuscany, you're a jerk. Scree, you stupid loser. And are you importing anything for me? Because if you are, I will embargo you. Let's see here. Okay, I can't. Em I can embargo the Austrians. Cause screw those guys. I might do that at some point. Not now, though. All right, let's keep that clock ticking. Actually, we're getting a second. Oh, the art school's being improved. Actually, can I get this this done for free? Well, I mean, I have to build any art schools because somebody up here apparently they likes art, which is nice. So I'm not gonna complain. And the land orders want consumption-based tax, and that's five years later get cranky. That's kind of a garbage policy, if I recall. Because I know it might take a hit. Let's see here. Yeah, that is really garbage. So, uh, no. You guys can go screw yourselves on that one. Piedmont crop failure. Uh, let's see here. Teach other ore. Let's just help them for a couple years. But minimum wealth is helping. So, yeah, let's try to help the people out there for a bit. Let's see, can I reform the government all to get some people who actually want to, you know... Get some reforms in, or anything, or no? You get the army in. Cause yeah, we're got that done. Let's see. That's actually yeah. Shake up the pop, the, the, the politics here. We're going from legitimate government to contested, which is fine. Not that much of a shake up. We have plenty of loyal to the stance. So you can get national guards. You can police some colonial stuff. Dedicated police force has me interested, so I can. Weaken the power of the landowners, because they're, honestly, from my experience, a terrible interest group. But you want to weaken their power as much as you can. Traditionalism. Let's see here. This this won't radicalize. I'm just make them cranky. So this is definitely canon. What I want to do next. Obviously, colonial stuff is good for some future point when I do some colonization. And this will tick off the, the intelligentsia. Which I don't want them to go radical, because that causes revolutions and civil war, which is bad. Yeah, let's go for police force. Let's try and weaken them up a little bit. Go for that. And the economy's crying now. Why are you crying? Oh, and Prussia wants a defensive pact as well. Sure thing, Prussia. We can be friends. So now it's now... I'm being protected by like people from the Austrians. Which, if they ever get busy in a war, I will definitely see if I can go and snag a chunk out of them. Probably the throughput's down due to that freaking famine or whatever. Which is a little poopy, but it's fine. We have plenty of credit to bank off of for now. Yes, atmospheric engine has just been discovered. Fantastic. Just get these naval bases built, and I think... They have a lot of convoys. I could shake some stuff up here. Dialectics for more education. Invest, which reminds me. I should probably begin investing in that. So yeah, it's cost 36 to improve that. So let's start. Actually, you know what? Big investment in education. Children are, the, children are the future, after all. Popular outreach to help. Improve a chance or piss... No, I don't want to piss people off. Let's just, yeah. Help the poor. Besides, they're going through a famine right now anyways. So that's fine. Let's see. How are the iron mines looking right now? Is the price of iron expensive here? Because I want to get iron cheap before I, be I switch over my production method. Atmospheric pump. I could be getting important coal to run an atmospheric pump. Get more iron out. Make it cheaper. Which, probably not a horrible idea. So there's a shortage of coal, which is fine. Because I could probably just buy some coal from somebody. How much coal am I missing right now? According to the game. I'm currently missing... Industrial good. 40 coal. So I could drive out that price right now. Is by buying some coal from somebody. Let's import that coal. Let's see here. Who wants to be my friend? Cole. I get 18 from the French. That, will drive, that should drive the price down a lot. Or a little bit at least. I don't know. Let's buy some coal from them. As well as buying some coal from the Americans as well. Before I get my coal mine up. So there we go. I'm doing that. That should now. Yep. And the shortage. Once these mines... Once these trade lines get added. 
Though I may have short some convoys. But isn't that good? Uh, let's see here. I shouldn't be buying tools from the Russians, honestly. Yeah. Or selling tools to the Russians if I need it for my own economy. That lower the price of tools? No, it's, it's still pretty happy. What are we short? It's all coal. It's all, it's all a coal shortage. It's fine. We're losing a little bit of money, but nothing crazy. Is that impact the price of iron? Iron is actually pretty cheap right now. And because we're we'll working on these future mines, I think I'm gonna press the button and see what happens. It says right now the economy is gonna get totally nuked, but things will get built faster. Let's see. This is saying that if I press this button, tools will go up, iron will skyrocket. We're building iron mines, so it's fine. There's room for the, is there room for the in the economy for it to grow actually? Yeah, there's room for it to grow too in the economy, which is fine. Let's let's see here. These guys are. Bad speech. Just blame this loser. Yeah, it's fine. Um, anyways. Yeah, let's just nuke the economy, I guess. That's fine. Because the uh, iron economy still needs room to grow. We're going to get coal in life. We get more iron. There's plenty of gold in the reserves for us to bank off of. So, yeah, let's do that instead. So, uh, these 15 reserves will now switch over because, as you can see, the, the efficiency is skyrockets with ever... Increase. So yeah, switching to iron will be great. So let's do that. And let's see how it happens to the economy. Is it getting angry? Or is it actually kind of happy? Right now it's kind of happy, actually. It's oh, there it goes. It's died. But look at that. Efficiency has just doubled. So now look at these buildings are going to be built so much faster. So what in the economy is, are we screaming for? Coal and iron, which we're working on right now. Got the gold reserves to basically tank the, the the loss right now we're having. Which actually go for a coal mine next, so I can end these coal routes to get my own coal. To power my uh the production method of having a pump run. Let's see about the finish up here. Media endorsements, we will take let's see it's make the army happy or just free enactment, which I'll take that. Just free enactment chance is nice. Russia's doing some stuff, which is fun. Good for you, Russia. Oh, fun times in the kingdom of Sardinia, Piedmont. Oh, boy. Let's see here. I just want to see if I get the economy to calm down here a little bit. Let's see. You're still at... Ooh, we're almost actually at major power, which would be very nice. Education is up, which is nice. Love to see that. None. Are my taxes over here still under control? Foreign emulation. I could eat. Hmm. Tick off the French, which I don't want to do. Piss off the rural folk or make France let me get this. Yeah, well, the rural folk are. They're, they're fine. Yeah, just do that. Make France happy with me and make this even better. Which is very nice. Let's see. Got that shortage, and I want to see the, the coal. So the economy seems to be on, under under control, which is fantastic. Let's see, taxes here are under control. A lot of good things here. Actually, texting, I do want to get, actually, now I think about it, I would probably like to have some of these texts that increase my prestige, because that helps me with my, my power status, which is very nice. There's more authority, which I think actually what I'm going to do is move that around. Go for realism next. We'll add that to the queue after machine tools, and then go for that. Try to bump my prestige up a little bit. Secret societies. That's Don't worry about those guys. They're, they're not a big deal. Let's see here. Happy little navy of six ships. The happiest little navy we had. We can see what they're building in the private sector. They're going to be building a textile mill and a cotton plantation on their own. Which I find at a certain point, this skew just becomes self-sustaining. 
which I find kind of hilarious. Uh, let's see, artistic expression. Let's see, I can get an army like me, but the army likes me already a lot, so that's fine. Let's just take the extra enactment chance. Now, 44%. I believe I actually don't have, I can actually do this now, patronize the arts, which I need for that. Level 2, 90% workforce, and traditional art. It actually helps boost realism, which I want. So let's do that right now, actually. I can... Yeah, no one's working at the art institute, but if I... It's, is it actually doing things? It's making a little bit. But I could probably actually incentivize the trade here. Let's actually subsidize this real quick. So how much art am I making right now? Zero art. I could see oh, that's running. Can I sell some art to somebody? Export. Ah, fine art. I can sell one art to somebody. To the British. Well, how much art can we make this, this, thing, this thing's at full capacity? Let's just run for a little bit. Oh, what? I've got ticked over too. Isn't it romantic? The Arts Academy with Savoy has experience in increasingly rate of romantic movement with some great artists producing genuine masterpieces. I can either get more throughput on the art, but no, I don't want that. I want progress toward realism. Because again, I want that prestige bonus. So yeah, we'll take that. And let's see, now they're making two pieces of art. Also, the police force comes running in here. Uh, let's go to the market, export route, fine art, and see who will pay the most for the art. Seems to be the Brits. It'll take me two convoys, I have 33, so we'll sell that to the British. Let that tick over, and now if I turn this off, this should be self-sustaining. Perfect, yep. As well as, while well, I before I forget, I will go to my good and have this protect supply to help change the revenue. Which is lovely. There we go. And the chlorous are inactive, so... As is the wine route, too. And let's also get... Got the coal's online. Obviously a pump, because the coal pump is powered by coal, so putting coal in... Oh, oh this actually is tool, not just coal. I thought the pump is actually powered by coal, but more coal is always good. And there's some more things. We got the Voice of the Nation and Atmospheric Engine. This is extra prestige because we made a kick ass national anthem. Love it. And now, with the widespread use of, well, atmospheric pumps and engines and steam engines, we can either get more throughput or probably get over the new tech, the War 2 boiler, which I find going for a tech is always the better option. So, yeah, let's go for that. Let's see, there is. I'm now a candidate for the Italian unification. Hawaii doesn't want to be subjugated by France, hilariously, and... Piscadine can no longer be maintained, so we're no longer rivals with them. But let's see, but now I can go down to here and see here. I, can, I can't treat it, I can't sell off that right now, but I'm not sure if I'm ready for that. See, it can petition landowners Nah, that's the one they're petitioning, which will happen if the L's get ticked off, basically. Group interest approval. And we'll get failed petition. Those get pissy. And over here, we can also do the unification in Italy, which will put that right there. So we have to own all of this stuff. Lombardy, Piedmont, Umbria, Cumbria, Calabria. Lazio, Venice, Sicily, South Tyrol, and Istria. Which is just lovely. Within our customs union. So, in our customs union and with high mutual relations may unify with us. So maybe because he has high relations and in my customs, he might want to just outright just join me. Which maybe I can actually start since I'm no longer able to, able to rival you. Maybe I can begin improving relations with you. I can, you know, bury the hatches, so to speak, I guess. Even though I wanted to murder you. 
Let's see, I can't bankroll him either. Sucks. Yeah. I don't have enough to maintain an action. Is what I can get rid of? Defensive packs. A lot of defensive packs and customs union and stuff. Not really. I need more diplomatic influence. Okay. That's fine. Alright, but I think for now that's a part as we're out, you know, getting the, the Italian ball rolling. Let's see how this is currently at. Where are you at for your urbanization? We're definitely going to urbanize down here some more, so maybe I'll start building some factories and stuff down here. Then work in Sardinia, just get the urbanization up. Work on that. Begin working on the custom, the invocation in Italy, and maybe soon I'll keep an eye on Austria and see if they're vulnerable. I might go to war with them and, you know, try and get a state back. Maybe, maybe once the economy's repaired, I can build some more military and do that, because we're still losing money right now. But until then, I've been Merlesnot97, and this has been Victoria3. Thank you very much for watching, and have a nice rest of your day.